All right, just some more factoring that goes in this chapter. So you can see all of these are like are polynomials, right? And so um, when you get uh, polynomials, sometimes you have different ways that you can factor them. We saw in the last video, we were doing the sum and difference of perfect cubes. So this one's kind of special. You're going to use something called factoring by grouping. Um, so uh, factoring by grouping is going to only happen to you when you have four terms and you're going to be able to split those down the middle. Now your four terms have to be in order. They have to be highest power, you know, in, in a descending order right here. So like this one right here is not in order. We got to switch these two around. But um, Yep, you got four terms and um, you get everything in order. So let's go. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to split this down the middle. You're going to, after the second term, you're going to draw a line. And then you're going to treat this as two separate problems in a way. You're going to look at this problem and you're going to say, hmm, what's the GCF there? Let me factor this. So I can pull out an x squared and then that leaves me with an x plus 4. And then you're going to put the same sign, plus, we're going to bring that down. And then you're going to look at the second two numbers. You're going to say, oh, hmm, uh, 2. 2 is a common factor, so GCF. So 2. And then when I pick that out, that leaves x plus 4. So the thing that you have left over, this part and this part, are going to be the same. So you can sometimes do this to a problem, and these green things are not the same. So that means you can't use this, this method, right? So if these two green things are the same, what that means is now I can factor this out. So remember, when you pull something out, you're factoring. You have this piece and this piece. We're taking out an x plus 4 from them, which means what I have left after those are gone are x squared plus 2. And so that's going to be done. So I'm taking out the x plus 4 from, I, from both sets because you have to look at this as two separate parts with your addition in the middle, right? So you're going to take out x plus 4, which leaves you x squared plus 2 left over. And now it's factored. And you are finished as long as this needs no more factoring. And x squared plus 2 is not going to factor All right, into real numbers. OK, this guy, this guy is in order. I'm going to split it. Also, you're checking 3, 2, 27, 18. They have nothing in common that you can take out. So we're all good to go. So this first part, all I can do is take out a y squared, which leaves me a 3y plus 2. Remember, I take the negative, and then this, both of these things divide by 9. So now, when you take out a negative, remember what you're doing is you're like dividing these by negative 9. That's what you're saying you're doing here. So this would leave me 3y, and negative 18 divided by negative 9 is positive 2. So one thing you can also do is remember you're you know that these parts have to match so you can kind of cheat a little bit and just make sure it works out but you can look at the front one and be like oh yeah it's supposed to be 3y plus 2 yeah that seems good okay so 3y plus 2 is what they have in common take that out and i'm left with y squared minus 9. uh-oh hopefully that set off some alarm bells in your head y squared minus 9 factors again into y plus 3 and y minus 3. It's a difference of perfect squares. All right, here we go. Split. So this first part, um, I can take a 4x squared out. It'll always be x squared, basically, a square term. And then what I have left is x minus 3. Now, over here, I have a plus. And it would seem I have nothing to take out here. But remember, we can always divide by 1. So if there's nothing, it doesn't seem like anything divides, just put a 1. And that leaves you with x minus 3. Okay, so x, blah, whoops, x minus 3, leave me 4x squared plus 1. Now, alarm bells, perfect squares, but oh, it's a plus, so I'm finished. I can't factor the sum of perfect squares, only the difference. All right, down here, split. So I got x squared coming out, which leaves me x minus 1. Put a minus, and then these have a 2 in common. So remember, I'm dividing these by negative 2, so that's why I get x minus 1 again. So x minus 1, and then I got x squared minus 2. All right, this last one here, um, it's not in order. So first of all, we got to swap these around. Ugh. All right, split. So this leaves me a 9x squared, which leaves me an x plus 2. Taking out a negative and a 4, which leaves me with x plus 2. Ay, 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 I'm so silly. 
All right, and x plus 2 means I have 9x squared minus 4. Oops, 9x squared minus 4, difference of perfect squares. So x plus 2, and I'm going to have a 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2, and that's my final answer.